So welcome back to a new episode of the Aquaponics Geodome and as I said in the first video I got some sponges, I bought some more sponges I'm gonna make some more grow plugs for the for the, for the floating raft system over there I had early attempts with a filter sponge like these but it didn't work so uh, well so let's try this new one out the sponge with the grow plug, <laughs> the sponge grow plug. It's like super easy. Put your scissor. I think I'm gonna make maybe three more out of these. So take your time. Cut open it. Let the sponge fold up a little bit back, so you don't squeeze it off uh, in another direction. And squeeze. There we go. We got one. And the second step is found out you can cut it like this, but it's not so steady. Then the most steady place is in this cut. So I'll show you. Easy. And there you have it. Ah, grow block. Place another seedling in it. Let's first wash this one in the dirt. So these roots are cleaner than before, and let's place it in the grow plug. Put it in the right direction with the camera. Yeah. Here we go. Chop. It's in there. So someone said this the roots will grow into the sponge. So I will give it a little bit uh, that the roots out more on the bottom than the stem. So, but we will see what will happen with that story. Find out. So let's make another adapter. So welcome back to a new episode of the Aquapolis Geodome and this time I'm gonna make some homegrown do-it-yourself uh, grow plugs. So I made already one. Just cut it up and put it in there. It's like it will uh, hold it together and then uh, these letters can grow. Right? With these roots inside the water. And you can see it from there. Uh, yeah, it's impossible to see from there. Anyway, let's see if my broken arm can hold it above water. So here's the roots. Yes. And they go inside the water. So, so this black thing is a small adapter to uh, fit it because these holes are too big for the sponge to hold it in place so I'm gonna make some more uh, black adapters for the sponge and uh, I would see what will happen there are also some small seedlings there are our first attempt with the grow plugs so we can cut some more so this is it as one day working goes by and I'm uh, lacking adapters so I'm gonna get them some more so until next day and I will show you the rest of the dome also <laughs> until then so I went back to some shopping spree and I bought some myself some new sponges uh, this pack contains like uh, eight sponges and per sponge I can make like five minimal or maximum of grow grips so that's fantastic so I'm gonna be busy with that in the soon and here I have a new seedling starter section with a dripping technique a little spider over there with kids he's carrying them so that's fantastic so we can maintain a steady growth grow grips uh, 
or the grow plugs. I mean, because the other one is patented. Anyway, this is what it is uh, now. The dome. It's like uh, a little tree over there. We got some figs, a lot of minty. Uh, and here in the center, we got some a lot of greens, some grains also. I thought I planted mice, but uh, <laughs> I think this one, these ones are from from last year. They survived. Yeah, look at it. It's amazing. <laughs> and we got some more mint tea with some uh, mineral deficiency. Maybe iron, I think so. Should add some sea seaweed extract. But hard to find here. To buy a big bag. Maybe some small yeah, garden center up stuff you can buy with a garden center prize on it yeah and here I got a new uh, thingy it's a it's a, it's a larvae factory you can feed the, the fish continuously larvae a complete breeding system as uh, present for someone <laughs> yeah and of course Full filter is doing fine. It's a great output. And also output of the filter by the geyser pump by uh, removing some. Uh, uh, it's like we, we put it in a um, a credit card in a V V shape, like uh, whoop whoop, and uh, it should to disperse the water into the green tube. But uh, one single tie rip does it the same and gives a bigger flow. Now I have more flow into the system, so I'm very happy with it. And the fish are also happy. And I did some experiments with uh, lettuce because they are sprouting. I don't have nothing useful for sprouting lettuce. So I thought, give it to the fish. And it seems to be that the fish, the carp and the goldfish, are liking it because they shredded it to the bone, to the nerve. <laughs> They call it in plant life. Yeah, yeah, I got some leakage, so I'm gonna repair it. It's the swill, uh, what's the thing, vortex siphon external thingy. You can check it back in early episodes. Now, the plants are not really moving up here. These were part on the right. Celery, I just replanted it because the main stem was. I'm going to get smushy and rotten from the inside out, so I took the branches from the side, replanted it, and they had also the, we had a root system, but now they are already flowering, so it's not going to be much this uh, year, I think. Now look at the detail, super, super, super tiny flowers. It's like a bouquet, but a small one. <laughs> now here. The knolle, they are doing great. Oh, this is, I uh, can't remember, should look it up. Ah, the strawberry here. Yeah, strawberries are getting there. I ate my first strawberry of the year, my own one. Tastes the best. Yeah, we also uh, a lot of mint. Also, it's, it's too much mint. <laughs> Um, potato is doing also fine. So this is the first potato that is growing in our aquaponic system here. Yeah, and that is succeeding. Now maybe on raspberries, but I think they've been eating my snails already or something. Like that. Ah, they will catch up. I hope. Yeah. This raspberry, Japanese raspberry, very should uh, come up also, but. Uh, Lacking something. <laughs> so now the flowers are also getting there. Not that hard as I expected. Is this what I think what it is? Will it hurt me? No. 
It does not. No, it's a different plant then. I thought it was this one. <laughs> Those itchy bastards. Anyway, like this. And the castanha. Yeah, has problems also in zone. The leaves. I'm missing something. Little red spots in it. Wow. It's very arty farty, but it doesn't mean it doesn't look so healthy. <laughs> well, the garlic uh, instead of that is doing great. Just put a whole clove in it, and it's just growing, and spreading all the stones away across. It's a nice circle of garlic. I'm sure. Now here the clovers, flowering, very nice. It's a nice smell that comes out. That comes from those uh, units over here. So, oh, close up is also nice to see. Wow, it's amazing. The camera it looks so much interesting than if you put your eyes on it, but wow. Just print it as a poster. <laughs> cool. Clover. Now here we also have some uh, big flowers. Don't know what it is, but uh, maybe it's flearbes. And you can fry them. Fried flowers. Put some uh, thing around it, and then you can fry it. And these are new. This is a nice flower. I should look up for the name. But These are newcomers. If you know what kind of plant it is, let me know. It's a nice one. Hey, yeah, cabbage. Already one year old, but not doing anything interesting, uh, and only going, <laughs> growing taller and produce leaves. And uh, yeah, I think it's Camel. I think it had this, uh, had this moment. You can make tea of these flowers, I think. They smell very, uh, very heavy. <laughs> As I want to say, but that kind of wood. Yeah, sage. Yeah, it's good to save some more space. This one's getting off now. Took a little bit. Because, like this one, it also took a long, uh, took a long ride to get this uh, far from seed. So, it's nice to see it in action. And I'm here. Yeah, nothing special. You got still got the avocado tree. It's doing fine. Um, got some seeds for radish for the next batch for the grow grips. And uh, yeah, we got a lost cabbage. It's just destroyed by snails. One year old, and then chance. <laughs> the same for stevia. Also completely eaten in two days. And this is what's left of it. Maybe it will get catch back or something. Yeah, but I don't know. Stevia. Now yeah, we got some more strawberries over here. They are doing fine. Fine. So that's nice. We got some beets. We got more mint. We got a small bugger over here. Maybe uh, cook them and use them as fish food. And over here, we got a lot of jungle going on. It's just amazing how much this is. This is like everywhere green. And these plants are also flowering now. And this tree is also growing bigger. It's liking it. We got a fake growing over there. It's nice. And over here. Some other stuff. I should cut it a little bit away. 
process to the worms, we put them to the fish, get back some minerals. Because these look uh, less uh, affected by uh, the lack of mineralization. But look, the bar tip is like. <laughs> cannot see it anymore. <laughs> now, I know, of course, the uh, grow plugs. I'm gonna continue with them and uh, cut some more uh, efficient shapes for it to, to be in there. So. Get back to work. <laughs> this is a little short overview. A little data. The temperature is over here, 19 degrees outside 12. The clove is over here. And the rest over there. I see something uh, very strange into the tank. Uh, don't drop the iPad into the water. Let's see if we can get it over there. Can you see it? Put it over there. Let's get a better position. Over there. Don't drift my iPad into the water. Very clever. <laughs> Let's get me a bit of angle. Yeah, over there. I think. The bottom of the ride. There's six legs and I don't recognize what it is. Sting. Move slowly. Maybe some kind of insect larvae or something. Weird. Huh. So fixed it. Put some uh, plastic foil around it, and it's good to go. It's not uh, dripping anymore. Yeah, and the vortex is already declining. Yeah, you can see it from here. Yeah. yeah, it's a small one this time. Here yeah, it is. Different angle. Yeah, you get it. The vortex. So, me happy, fish happy, everybody happy. Oh, I put some, uh, came a little bit further, I was planting some more mint and testing out a new uh, floating raft for these grub plugs. But cutting the the plastic yeah, is uh, yeah well, the broken arm is a little bit uh, tough. So. <laughs> so I will continue planting some more mint, and I'm good to go for today. Until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave the comment behind if you have any questions. Until next time.